Hey, this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Three strings, cigar, box, guitar. Cigar, box, guitar. Yep, that's it. And uh, I'm playing this song through a Soldano amp. Uh, they're made in Seattle, Washington. Um, all the effect that you hear comes out of this amplifier. It's not a modulating amp. Um, it is all tube. And so the drive you hear is from the, the valve action here. Um, I've got a little reverb pedal. It's just some reverb. So, um, song is uh, Neil Young and Crazy Horse Like a Hurricane. Um, I used to play this 20, 30, 40 years ago, it seems like. Um, and uh, it's just a killer song with a real good drive. It's going to be great at the bar. And uh, so I think it's something you guys are going to want to learn. <laughs> so um, here we go. <laughs> So I'm, you see me moving a shape around. Um, the song is in A minor, okay, on a six-string guitar. But A minor, one, doesn't work with my voice. Two, it doesn't work well on a cigar box guitar tuned in open G. Open G works much better. Also, we're down um, a whole tone or two frets, A being here, G being here. So it makes it easier to sing. Um, they're difficult to sing anyway because it's Neil. Um, something else, this guitar, uh, this uh, song is in A minor, so that would mean that if we're on A minor, we're coming down to G minor, which would be here. Okay, that's that chord. You don't need this note to make a G minor, okay? You just don't need it. Um, the same notes are available to you with G, D, G. So, uh, open G. This is uh, G sharp. A, B flat, important chord in this song. It's B, C, C sharp, D, important chord in this song. D sharp and E. Um, there's a shape I make that looks kind of like this. And this really is an A, a D, and an A. And if I keep moving this shape up, it would look like this. So it would be B flat, B flat, and uh, D sharp. Next shape would be 
B, B, and E. That's an E chord. Next shape would be F. F sharp, G, G sharp, okay? A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, all the way to infinity. So this G up here is the same as this one. So it's D, G, D, as opposed to G, D, G. So this is your starting point for this little riff. So you're gonna go whole tone, whole tone, half tone. So it's seven, five, three, two, okay? And I'm hitting these two strings hard, and if I hit the bass note, it's cool too, because I don't care. your first little riff on this thing. Seven, five, three, two, open, two, three, five to seven, and then the F chord. So it's C, C, and F. And your first finger is already in great position to go. So you're on F, B flat, A, B flat, F. So if we put those two together, and you keep the shape, and we're going to move it a whole tone down. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep the shape I have and I am going to modulate with these notes, right? So what I'm doing here is going... So if I take my other fingers away, it'll look like this. But it's kind of hidden behind the shape. down one more, D, and then to F. So I'll go through the whole thing in a fairly slow clip. have to know this shape and be able to move it around. 
Um, my advice would be to start D, D sharp, and move this shape up and down the neck, and then skip a fret and go, and get used to that, and then, you know, skip a fret and a half, so a whole and a semitone and get used to that as well. Get used to moving that shape up and down the neck as well as this. Um, and anytime I get a chance to go, I like coming up, things like that, right? So. At this point, you can go to the D sharp up here. Um, well, I love you because you're getting blown away. Achievers, we're gonna do the whole thing in the upper register just to show you where it is, right? So you know, right? D, D is here, okay? Same dots. song. I've given you a whole bunch of different ways you can wrap your hands and wrap your head around this tune. Killer, killer song. This is going to be a great one at the bar. I can't wait to play it. Um, so, I'm Uncle Mark, Three String Cigar Box Guitar. I'm in the mothership. I do have a, a donate link down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. I want to say thank you all so, so much for you who have donated. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, everything you do for me from, you know, uh, sharing on social media to uh, getting the word out, subscribing to the channel, getting those people engaged. Um, comments, they really mean a lot to me. So uh, don't stop your comments, um, whether positive or negative. Um, I like them all. It makes me a better teacher. So uh, thank you so much and uh, we'll talk soon.